Hey everyone, it's Jacob here back again with another video. Um, I'll just crack my fingers like I always do, of course, as you know. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing, uh, okay, sorry, I was just myself a little bit, but, um, <clears throat> I was gonna say, uh, for today's video, um, I'm gonna be showing some stuff they got recently from Goodwill and in the mail. So, yeah, it's gonna be some of the stuff I got from Goodwill. I got three DVDs from Goodwill. Recently, me and my mom went to Goodwill because... My mom wanted to drop off like some clothes and stuff that she picked up from her closet, a lot of her clothes actually. And I also dropped off some some of my older DVDs that Goodwill that I didn't want anymore, that I didn't need anymore, that I, that I had other copies of. There's like six or seven DVDs, not much. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, I got three new DVDs from Goodwill. Well, new obviously, all, all, all stuff at Goodwill is used, but you know what I mean. A new to me. <laughs> Anyways, the first DVD that I got from Goodwill recently. It was just a couple of days ago, I think. I'm coming out exactly which day, but it was like the other day, I'll say. But the first DVD I got is Pitch Perfect, as you can see. It's the first DVD I got from Goodwill. Uh, I thought it was perfect, I found it because I actually just watched uh, Pitch Perfect recently, like the, the other day, um, a few days ago. It was before I went to Goodwill, I, Goodwill obviously. Um, but I think it was perfect if I didn't, if I like, didn't watch Pitch Perfect when I got it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm kind of reeling off here. But yeah, I thought it was perfect, I found it because I just watched Pitch Perfect recently. So yeah, Pitch Perfect is a good movie, I think. Obviously, there's three Pitch Perfect movies. I have not watched the second or third Pitch Perfect movies yet, but I'm sure, I'm sure the second and third ones are pretty good as well. Probably not as good as the original, because because at least most most sequels are nearly as good as the original. Um, there's some sequels that I can think of, like off the top of my head, that I think are better than the original. Like the second Ice Age movie, the the Meltdown, I think it's I think it's better than the original. That's one the the original Ice Age. I mean, that's one I can think of off the top of my head. Or, um, I was going to say Toy Story 2, but I think Toy Story 2 is just, is, is not as good as the original Toy Story, actually. For a second, I was thinking maybe Toy Story 2 is better than the original Toy Story, but, no, nah, actually, I might not agree with that. <laughs> anyways, that first I'm not thinking I might agree with that. But anyways, uh, bonus features include Lee and extended scenes, Lionel Rama, Look Inside, Feature Commentary, Starships, Pitch Perfect Movies, Video with Mike Tompkins, and, um, and then there, there is other bonus features, but I know it's here for some reason. I saw there's more bonus pages than the than what's listed here on the back of the case when I put in the DVD this DVD after I got it and went to the menus and stuff obviously. Um I take a big deep breath there. So I think I was talking for a little too long about taking a breath. Anyways, I'm kinda of moving on here again. I guess I ramble on a lot of my videos. But anyways, I have the inside of the disc, no insects or anything like that. Right there. Uh so yeah. Yeah, Pitch Perfect I think is a, a good movie. But I found the, the DVD for it at Goodwill. Um, the songs in Pitch Perfect are really good. Obviously, the Cups song is from Pitch Perfect is iconic. Um, also, a lot of the girls in Pitch Perfect are beautiful, in my opinion. I mean, just look at them on this cover. Especially, like, I think the... I can't really remember any of their names, but, like, the red-haired one, I think, is really beautiful. And also, the blonde one. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Enough about how beautiful the girls are, I guess. I do remember uh, Anna Kendrick's character's name is Becca, that's really the only uh, character name that I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, and I remember uh, Rebel Wilson's character's name is Fat Amy. Uh, then that said, I don't really remember any, any other character's names. Anyways, so that was the Pitch Perfect DVD that I found at Goodwill. And the second DVD that I found at Goodwill is a uh, DVD of D Disney Channel original movie Descendants, as you can see here. On the bottom it says they're not bad, they're just born that way. I've never seen Descendants, but I found it a good one. I was like, why not? For only like 99 cents, I'll give it a try. Well, not like 99 cents, it was 99 cents. All DVDs at, at uh, good little 99 cents. Anyway, um, but yeah, I, just, I decided I would give it a try. I did the DVD for I haven't, I've not gone around to watch it yet. Um, but yeah, there is uh, just like how there's three Pitch Perfect movies, there's also three Descendants movies. Obviously, I'm not sure if I'm gonna watch the second or third of Descendants movies because. I haven't even watched the first one. I don't know if I'll like it or anything. But yeah, so the bonus features of this DVD include Backstage Dance for Herfels, Dance to the Job Suits with Cast Rizzles with director Kenny Ortega, Bloopers, Christian Chenoweth, and the Cast Goof Up and Crack Up on Set. I don't, know why, I don't know why they specifically point out Christian Chenoweth. But anyways, and then hashtag Mal, sneak peek at Mal's story I've seen through social media. That's pretty cool. And plus more as well. Um. One thing I've noticed with DVDs is when the, when the special fe when the when it looks like the special features or or bonus features are what I call them like on the back of the of DVD cases, 
Um, usually when it says like plus more and more or whatever, it's usually only like a, like one or two other special features and then like what's uh, listed on the back. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, that's gonna cover out the Disney Movie Awards code, but I probably don't have to because it might be expired. But even if it is, then I don't really care about Disney Movie Awards. Anyway, I'm kind of laying around. Kind of I'm not so worth it. I was gonna say, anyways, I'm kind of rambling on here again. But uh, here's the inside of it. It has Disney Movie Awards insert code thing. And then there's the disc right there, and yeah, you can try and use the Disney Rewards code if you want, because I've, I've said before in like several videos before, I don't really care about the Disney Rewards code, uh, like inserts in Disney DVDs, so you can try and use that code if you want to. I was going to say it might be expired, but um, I don't see anything on here about an expiration date. I don't think, I don't think Disney Movie Rewards codes actually have an expiration date, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I know like regular, like, like, uh, digital movie codes do have expiration dates, but I think the Disney Movie Rewards codes don't really have expiration dates. Yeah, anyways, that's that. So, yeah. Oh, and also I almost forgot to say, um, sorry, I'd open this again to make sure this was straightened and this here was in there good and stuff. <laughs> okay, anyways. Also, I almost forgot to say, um, there was a DVD of Descendants 2 at Goodwill as well, um, when I went to Goodwill recently. Um, but uh, I didn't I didn't get the Descendants two DVD because um because the the, the disc for the Descendants two DVD looked like uh had, had, looked like had like a uh, that's my words I was kind of starting a little bit I was gonna say the disc for the Descendants two DVD they had a good well looked like it had like a lot of scratches and smudges on it and I was like no thanks um even if the disc was clean I <clears throat> oh, excuse me sorry about that but I was gonna say um even if the even if the disc for uh, Descendants two was clean um. I might not have even gotten it anyway because because like I like I said I'm not sure if I'd even interested in the, the second or third sense movies because as I haven't even watched the first sense movie yet so I have to see what I think about the first sense movie. Um, I kind of mentioned that when I was showing that this the DVD of the first sense movie just a minute ago. But anyways, um, I've just heard a lot of really good things about those sense movies, but I've, I've never watched them. I've just never really thought they were really like my kind of movies, but. Um, I mean, I'm open to checking them out. I'll, like I said, I'll watch the first one. Maybe I'll turn on making this video. I'll just watch it. Um, I'm not sure. Anyways, man, this is the last DVD I got from Goodwill. This DVD is a little different. This is a pretty interesting find. Um, this is called Inside DVD, the Entertainment Magazine on DVD. And when I found this at Goodwill, I was like, what is, what is this? This looks interesting. But, um, I guess it's like some sort of like, a uh, DVD version of the magazine. Uh, I guess, um, but, uh, it's pretty cool, it has, like, music videos on it, and movie previews, and, like, and other stuff to do with the, the movies that have previews, like, as, uh, trailers, which means the same thing as previews, but trailers, menu shots, like, pictures and videos of the menus of the DVDs of these movies, and then special, special feature information, featurettes, interviews, deleted scenes, stuff like that, a lot of, a lot of cool stuff on here, um, so it has, um, stuff related to each of these movies are listed here, and then all these music videos right here. And then on the front also says, it comes with a short movie called Battle of the Sexes. I watched a little bit of it when I first put this DVD in, but I was like, that seems kind of weird. I'm not sure if that's really my kind of thing. And then it comes with a full-length feature film as well. As you can see on the bottom, it says it's, a, uh, it's an older movie called The Last Time I Saw Paris. Um, and then it lists the cast of the movie as well. Starring Roger Moore, Elizabeth Taylor, Ava Gabor, Van Johnson, Donna Reed, and Walter Pigeon. Uh, anyways, I don't really know how any, I don't really know how any of those people are. This this is the last time I saw Paris movies an old movie. But anyways. Um so here's the inside here it has an insert that I guess talks about more about the um the D V D magazine thing. Um man that has like a mailing thing as well under the insert. It says two DVDs and a free movie in every issue. I guess it's like a a magazine that comes with DVDs. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm not. I'm still not really like entirely sure. Like what, uh, like what it, this is all about. But anyways, oops. Okay, sorry about that. The inserts started coming up. But anyways, um, oops. Let's get in there. There we go. <laughs> all right. Sorry about that. But anyways, and there's a disc on the right and. It says Inside DVD Volume 6, and then Pioneer, which Pioneer is like a home video, like, uh, it's like a company that makes, like, uh, home video, like, 
consoles, I guess, I'm not really sure what to call them, but they make, like, DVD players and stuff like that, I guess, something that was, like, spon uh, a sponsor of this inside DVD thing, I'm not sure, but it says volume 6, so I'm guessing there's more of these, like, inside DVD things made, because it just says volume 6 on it, but yeah, and then the full-length movie, the, um, the, the last time I saw Paris, the, um, that full-length movie last time I saw Paris is actually on the other side of the disc, it's actually a double-sided disc, so as you can see, on the other side of the disc, it says the last time I saw Paris, so, so that full, so that full-length feature, so that full-length feature film, the last time I saw Paris, it's kind of like it's on separate DVD, it's just like on the other side of the disc, because it's a double, double-sided disc, so that's pretty cool, I've never really been a huge fan of double-sided disc, but, you know, they're not the, they're not the worst kind of disc, <laughs> anyways, that's, that's, so that was the last DVD I got from Goodwill, like I said, this is a pretty interesting find, pretty cool find, um, so yeah, I think it's, I think it's really cool that, that has, like, all these music videos and, like, all the, all these, like, movie previews and trailers, lead scenes to interviews, and all that, it's, it's, it's pretty cool, um, I mean, that, like I said, I'm still not, like, entirely sure what this, like, um, DVD entertainment magazine thing is, but, yeah, but still, it was a pretty interesting and pretty cool find, anyway. I tried to look up stuff about it, like, online, and I couldn't really find much about it, so I'm not sure. And I tried to look it up, like, on YouTube, see if there's any videos about it, and I couldn't find anything on YouTube either. Anyways, if any of you out there know more about this, what this Inside DVD Entertainment Magazine thing is, let, maybe let me know in the comments. Enlighten me, if you will. Um, because <laughs> uh, I might want to know more information about that, because, like, I'm still entirely sure what that inside dvd entertainment magazine is but still but still like i said that's that pretty cool and pretty in pretty interesting find anyways um so that was uh the three dvds i got from goodwill so now i'm going to show what i got in the mail so um so um like i said in the, i think it was in the beginning of the nostalgic dude or nostalgic shows my childhood video that i did uh recently uh, i showed in, in the beginning of that video i showed something i got in the mail it was like a walking dead telltale definitive series video game based on The Walking Dead, obviously. The Walking Dead comic book series, it's not really late. It's not, the video game it was, isn't really related to the Walking Dead TV show on AMC. But anyways, um, that was part of an order of stuff that I ordered from Valentine's Day, and I got the, uh, couple, couple other things, um, that I got in the mail, um, or the, a couple other things from my order, I meant. I kind of messed my words there, I guess. Um, yeah, I think I was starting to sell an air or something. But anyways, um, yeah, I got, I got a couple other things from that order, like, I think it was, like, last night, or the night before. Um, it was the night before, actually, I remember. Uh, I got the, um, the night before, last night, I got a couple other things from, from my order from Valentine's Day. Um, like I said, that Walking Dead video game that I showed in a recent video. Um, the Nostalgia, Nostalgia Shows from My Childhood video that, um, that was one part of the order, but then I got the other parts from the order, if you will, like my before last night, so, this is the first thing I got in the mail recently, this is a, a Drake and Josh DVD, or, DVD I ordered, Drake and Josh Best of Seasons 1 and 2, 3 disc, three disc set, I almost said 3 disc set, that wasn't bad, but 3 disc set, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that, um, so, um, this is one of those, like, more rare Drake and Josh DVDs, like, the only listing for this particular DVD on Amazon for, like, a while, uh, for, like, pretty long time, it was, like, $50, um, but uh, I saw a listing that popped up for, for only $30, and I was, like, I better hop on that and buy that, it was, like, $30 with, like, three nine nine shipping, I think, so, yeah, I went, went, ended up, and ended up getting it, um, it has three discs with five episodes on each disc with a total of 15 episodes, all the episodes are from seasons, seasons one and two, of course, I'll straight off the, I'll straight off the episodes, because why not have time? So on disc one, the episodes include Pilot, Dune Buggy, Grammy, Two, idi two Idiots, and a Baby, and Mean Teacher. Uh, disc two has the episodes First Crush, Honor Council, Movie Job, Little Diva, and One Fan. And last but not least, disc three has the episodes The Bet, Football, Smart Girl, Drew and Jerry, and Pool Shark. Um, one episode that's included on here is actually a pretty rare episode. It's, it's part of, like, a handful of, a handful of episodes that don't, like air on Nickelodeon anymore, or like, or in, on a streaming service or anything like that because of copyright. Um, well, I, th I think Drake and Josh as a whole doesn't really air on TV anymore, but like, you know what I mean when I say that a handful of episodes don't like air on TV anymore and just aren't, um, aren't like any on any streaming services. Anyways, but um, those episodes aren't really uh, found um, anywhere at all because of like, 
copyright issues with some stuff in the episodes, but I guess, but, uh, the episode that I'm talking about is number one fan, that's one of the, like, more rare episodes that, uh, is, like, kind of hard to find because of, like, copyright issues with stuff in the episode, I guess. But, yeah, so that's cool that that was included on here. That's, I liked that episode, number one fan. Uh, of course, that's Drake's, uh, Drake's song in it, the, You were so clever, happy together today, by the way. Anyways, if you've seen the episode, you know what that song is. I'm not going to sing the whole song. Um, I was going to say because of copyright issues, but I don't think you can copyright for singing a song. You can only get copyright for, like, putting a playing an actual song in your video. I don't think you can get copyrighted for singing a song. Anyways, but yeah, um, after I got this, I did see another listing popped up for, like, it's twenty nine ninety five with free shipping. Um, but yeah, anyways, it probably would have been the pretty, pretty much the same thing because it was the same DVD and stuff. Anyways, um, this, this DVD isn't really in, like, the, the best condition, though, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So first of all, the case, I can't really close all the way, I guess. Um, as you can see, like, the the top part uh, seems to not be able to close properly. Don't really know why that is. But yeah, anyways. Um, then on the inside here, um, so there's this one on that side. Now I actually have discs 2 and 3 both stacked on this side. As you can see, this here is on top and then disc 2, because... Um, oh, oh, part of the case just fell out. Part of the case fell out before, too. Uh, I guess this case is starting to fall apart. But anyways, um, let's put that little piece aside for now. But anyways, uh, but yeah, I have these two stacked. This three, this three is on top of this two, as you can see, because this three originally over here, when I got this, the, uh, the disc holder was broken. So, yeah, the third disc can't really be an uh, 7 disc holder because the disc holder is broken, so this can easily fall out. But I realized I can just kind of put the, put the other disc, like, in here, uh, just, like, on top of disc two. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing since since disc three can't really be properly be in the disc holder here because the disc holder is broken, like I said. But anyways, that's that. Um, <clears throat> uh, so yeah, I think the I think the disc three can be in there. Go oh, it's, well, it starts falling when you shake it, but I think it's I think it's good if you just like push it and you don't like shake it or like move it too much or anything. Oops, that oh, fell out. It was kind of good before. Um, okay. Okay, not, it was staying good in there before, but now not so much. Um, I guess I'll try and push it in there best I can. But anyways, um, so was that. Of course, you saw all three of the, the discs. Anyways, no, I think it's staying in there good now. Um, but yeah, so the, the top part of the case won't close for some reason, and the, the one disc holder is broken, like I said, so it's not in the best condition, and the the discs looked, the disc looked fine, I think, I didn't really feel like showing the backs of all the discs, but, um, you know, from what I saw when I first got this DVD, the disc, the disc looked fine, I think, there's, there was some, like, scratches and, and stuff, I was about saying smudges, but I don't think it's really any smudges on any of the discs, but there was some scratches on the disc, but, I've uh, I've, like, I watched the I watched the number one fan episode that I mentioned, um, which is on disc two. So I popped in disc two and I and I played the number one fan episode. I watched I watched that episode, the number one fan episode, and it seemed to work fine. So I think the discs work fine. So all the scratches on disc must just be like surface scratches that don't actually like affect the disc. But anyways, um, let's put the little piece that fell out. Uh, There's a little piece that fell out of the case of Dragon Ash Let's put that little piece on top of the case for now. And I'll probably throw away the little piece when I'm done making this video. But anyways, um, so I have one more thing to show that I got in the mail that I ordered, um, and yeah, that is a new Cena game that I got. So if you don't know what Cena is, it's a series of DVD board games, uh, and they're about, like, trivia, um, of, like, different things. Um, if you just start music, I did that, mess my words. I was gonna say, if you just start hearing music in the background, it's coffee, I was pleased to go cover every hour, I've said that in several different videos, but yeah. Anyways. Okay, if you don't know what Cena is, it's a series of DVD board games, it's, uh, like, trivia about different things, like, there's a, for example, there's, like, a Nickelodeon Cena, a Disney Channel Cena, like, three, three different editions of, like, regular Disney Cena, there's three different editions of Harry Potter Cena, etc., a Glee Cena, uh, etc., but anyways, um, but yeah, this is, uh, one Cena game that I didn't have, I thought it looked pretty cool, it's, uh, Warner Bros. Television 15th Anniversary Cena, so yeah, pretty cool, uh, I don't really know a whole lot about, uh, about, like, 
about like most Warner Bros. Stuff and shows I would say, but some Warner Bros. shows I know about like Full House is a Warner Bros. show, and of course one of my favorite shows is Full House. You know that if you watch the top five favorite my top five favorite TV shows here that I did not too long ago, you know that Full House is my favorite show, my fourth favorite show actually to be more specific. Uh, if you remember what I said about Full House in my top five favorite shows video, I said with my my fourth favorite show. But anyways, and also. Uh, some stuff about family, ma family marriage is in here, and I have seen family marriage before. And then some stuff, some stuff about like the Fresh Prince of Bel Air is in here, and I, I have seen the Fresh Prince of Bel Air as well. But yeah, there's the this is the back of the box there. If you want to read all the information about the game and like look at the pictures and stuff, you can pause the video if you want. So yeah, I'm not gonna open the box or anything just to like save time. But yeah, that's that. That was a senior game, and uh, yeah, that's basically it for this video. That was everything that I got recently from Goodwill and in the mail. I just scratch my fingers again. You probably heard that while I was <laughs> talking. Um, literally just a second ago. But anyways, um, but yeah, knowing advance to say that was the that was what I got recently from Goodwill and in the mail. Uh don't have anything else to say that's how I was I was gonna say don't have anything else to say. So of course he's like kind of subscribe, of course ring the bell so you know if I never post any new videos. And um yeah, I don't have anything else to say. So of course so of course I enjoy this video and I'll of course see you next time. Peace.